The Defender Plus 44005 Heavy Duty Electromagnetic Corrosion Module is specially designed for commercial vans, heavy duty trucks, class seven or eight tractors, cab chassis configurations, and other large vehicles, including buses, dump trucks, snow plows, fire and rescue vehicles, RVs, and off-road equipment, such as bulldozers, excavators, graders, and backhoes. The module kit includes the corrosion control module with Velcro, a wiring harness with built-in fuse, and a hardware packet containing all necessary installation components, including a sorted ring terminal, self-tapping screws, and tie straps. Step one, mounting location. With the vehicle turned off, select a mounting location for the module, either under the hood or in the cab. Use the alcohol cleaning pad to clean the surface area of where the module is to be installed. Remove the backing from the Velcro pad and press the module firmly into place. Do not connect the wiring harness to the module yet. Doing so may cause a voltage surge that damages the module. Step two, connect the black brown wire. Using the supplied ring or spade terminals, crimp and fasten all three wires. Connect the black brown wire to the negative battery terminal. Step three, connect the red power wire. Run the red power wire directly to a 12 volt constant power source, vehicle battery preferred, or use the constant power terminal located in the fuse box. Avoid positioning wires close to hot or moving components that may melt or pinch the wire. Once routed, black and red wires may be cut to desired length. Step four, connecting the two green wires. The green output wires deliver the pulse current signal over all grounded vehicle body panels as well as the frame and cross members. Both wires must be properly secured and grounded to bare metal. The shorter green wire must be secured at least 4 feet or 120 centimeters from where the black ground wire was connected. The longer green wire must be secured close to the rear of the vehicle at least 10 feet or 305 centimeters from where the black ground wire was connected. Never cut either of the green output wires, but if needed, you can always increase their length with more 16 gauge wire. The solder and shrink wrap method is recommended. Use an existing bolt or a threaded hole with a new bolt along with a tooth washer, teeth facing down. Do not use an existing grounding point for either of the output wires. Step five, check resistance. Before plugging the wiring harness into the module connector, use an ohm meter to measure the resistance at the green and black wire contacts or pins in the body harness. Resistance should be less than one ohm. If the reading is greater than one ohm, Check the connection of the black and green wires and repair as necessary. Step six, test the module. Plug the wiring harness firmly into the module connector plug. Check to see if the green LED light turns on. If it fails to turn on, check the grounding of the black and red wires and make sure the battery voltage is above 12.6 volts. Step seven, finish installation. Use the nylon cable ties to secure the wires to the vehicle and to collect any excess wire. Use split loom to hide the wires and protect them from heat and moisture. This gives the installation a professional finished look.